This is the MS-18. At 100,000 lumens, it's the brightest flashlight in the world. Well, at least it used to be the brightest flashlight in the world because Immolent just released this bad boy right here. 120,000 lumens, 2,080 meters of throw, the SR-32, the new brightest flashlight in the world. Let's check it out. So let me show you everything that comes with the Emolent SR32. Comes in a nice carrying case right here. I'll put this off to the side because it's so big. It comes with a shoulder strap here if you decide to wear it around your shoulder. It comes with a power adapter right here that supports 100 watt fast charging. And it has two USB type A and two USB type C ports. Also comes with a 100 watt type C charging cable that is going to be type C to type C. In this bag here are six spare o-rings an allen wrench and a couple screws and then of course your user manual and now let me give you guys a nice close-up of this monster that's the sr32 and while you guys are checking this out let's talk about some of these features the emolent sr32 has a maximum output of 120,000 lumens and a throw of 2080 meters and i believe that's the longest throw of any led flashlight and pushing out those 120,000 lumens are 32 Cree XHP 50.3 high LEDs with a lifespan of 50,000 hours. It has seven lighting modes plus strobe and everything is controlled with dual switches. You can check to see what mode you're in with an OLED display. The OLED display shows your brightness level, your voltage, if you're locked or unlocked, strobe and hot warning. The body's made from aluminum and has a type three hard anodized finish. The battery is a high capacity rechargeable battery pack with a power bank function. And as I mentioned, supports 100 watt fast charging. This battery charges in about an hour and a half. The glass is a toughened ultra clear mineral glass with an anti-reflective coating. And there's an aluminum SMO reflector. It also features three cooling fans that are 10,500 RPM. It has a 0.5 meter impact rating and has a dust and waterproof rating of IP56 which basically means it's rainproof, it is not submersible. And the Immolent SR32 comes with a two year warranty. So who exactly is the SR32 for? Well, obviously this is going to make a great search and rescue flashlight, but it's also gonna be good for security, hunters, distress signaling, things of that nature. But if you guys are looking for the ultimate portable searchlight, I don't think you should look any further than this guy right here, just because of the sheer power of this 120,000 lumens, 2,080 meters of throw. And along with that 120,000 lumens, it has 1,090,000 candela. So to simply say that this light is bright is an understatement. Now it does come with a handle and I'm going to leave this handle on throughout this review and on that handle you can see a button so there's a button right there on the handle and then there's another button right here on the actual body of the flashlight and both buttons do the exact same thing but I'll talk about that when I go over the UI and before I go over the lumens and runtime let's talk about the dimensions all right lumens and runtime so it has seven modes plus strobe What's really amazing here is it does have a moonlight mode at only 30 lumens. I was really surprised to see that. So moonlight 30 lumens has a runtime of 360 hours. Then that jumps to low at 1500 lumens, has a 15 hour runtime. Middle low is 4500 lumens and has a runtime of four hours and 25 minutes. Middle one is 9000 lumens, has a runtime of two hours. Middle two is 25,000 lumens, has a runtime of 55 minutes. And then there's high, 50,000 lumens, and that runs for 60 seconds. Then that steps down to 25,000 lumens, and that can run for 50 minutes. And then turbo, 120,000 lumens, has a 45 second runtime, which I'm going to test very shortly. That steps down to 25,000 lumens and can run for another 45 minutes. Then you can see the 2,080 meter throw, the 1,090,000 candela, the impact resistance and IP rating. Now the mode spacing here isn't terrible in my opinion. I think everything from moonlight to high is pretty good. I think that spacing is right on point actually. The 50,000 to 120, I'm surprised that there's nothing in between that high and turbo. And I say I'm surprised that it has a 30 lumen moonlight mode because on the MS-18, the lowest mode was 700 lumens. That's right, it went from 700 to 2,000 to 5,000, 10,000, 22, 30, 60, then 100. Even though I'm not sure if I'd ever use that moonlight mode, I'm just glad to see it's there. 
All right, so now let's go over the UI here, and I'm gonna use the button on the handle here to demonstrate this. There are no half press modes, it's just full presses to activate the flashlight, so one press on, one press off. And then you can see that OLED display light up, that's the 30 lumen moonlight mode right here, and that display goes away after a couple seconds. So to cycle through the modes, once it's on, just press and hold, and you can see the brightness level change. And right around 25,000 lumens is when those fans are gonna kick in. So that's on middle two. And then one more press, that's gonna be high at 50,000 lumens. And then if I keep it going, it's gonna go back to moonlight. So the only way to get to turbo is to double press. I'm not gonna kill you guys here. So double press that button here. And that takes us instantly to turbo. And of course, those three fans are gonna kick in there. So in order to get to strobe, Double press for turbo, double press again for strobe, and then single click again, turns off. And I just realized I've been showing you the OLED display upside down, but that's okay, you guys get the idea. Let me show you the lockout mode. Press the button four times from off, one, two, three, four. Shows you a little lock. Then to unlock, same thing, one, two, three, four unlocked. So I think it's great that it has a pretty simple lockout mode and for a flashlight this bright that is absolutely necessary. And it does have a function where you can activate the fans if you think the flashlight is too hot and if you want to cool it down. What you want to do is just press and hold either one of the buttons, I don't know, for about five or six seconds. Right there it says fan. Fans are activated. You can hear that. And then press and hold again to turn that off. There we go. So the UI here is very simple, but with a flashlight this bright, I sort of wish it was a press and hold to activate and then just single press to change the modes because I can't tell you how many times I just accidentally pressed this button here because it's so easy to turn on and just blasted 25,000 lumens everywhere. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I just put it on 25,000 lumens, which is scary bright in, in its own right. and just messing around with this handle, accidentally press that button, and then there's 25,000 lumens just blasting everything. So honestly, I think this should be a press and hold to turn the light on and then just single press to cycle the modes. All right, let's do my not so scientific heat and turbo test. Here I let the flashlight run for two minutes and I take its temperature at the head and the body after one minute and after two minutes. And as expected, this gets hot. At the head after one minute was 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the body was right around 94.6. So the body was fairly decent. And when I mean body, it's basically the battery. So the body was manageable, but the head, you definitely need gloves if you're gonna be touching anywhere around that head. After two minutes, it only dropped about one degree. So at two minutes, the head was about 134 degrees and the body rose to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these temperatures are estimates because you can see by my thermal camera, that head is so large, as I move around, the temperature is gonna fluctuate. And there was one little spot on the head that was 139 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the maximum that I saw that was on the head. So 139 degrees Fahrenheit was the max, 135 and then 134 after two minutes. And there was definitely a step down from turbo. I'll put on the screen right now when turbo started stepping down and when it ended the step down. All right, here I am in my backyard. Let's start on Moonlight. All right there, I'm not gonna spend too much time on Moonlight. Let's go to, oops, let's go to Low. <laughs> right there. Wow. Okay. Hit that tree right there, and obviously I'm gonna hit that barn back there, even at 1500 lumens. And you guys get a pretty good idea of the throw already, and this is just low. All right, let's go to middle low. It's a fairly wide beam. You can see there's a, there is a hot spot there, but the outer perimeter is very wide. It's not very well defined. You see there is a little bit of fall off there. It's not super crispy, but Gives you a nice idea of this beam profile. Let's go to middle one right there. All right. And I'll put up the distance between me and that tree, me and that barn here. And let's go to middle two. 
fan just kicked on. Wow. Okay, let's go to high. That's 50,000 lumens. Wow. Unreal. I mean, I am just completely lighting up my backyard. I mean, look at this, guys. Hitting those trees even beyond that barn without a problem at all. And let's go to turbo. 120,000 lumens. Now, I'm not going to get too much time here on turbo. It's going to step down. But holy crap. Just, this thing is a monster. I mean, this, obviously, this is the brightest flashlight in the world, so it's the brightest flashlight that I own, but this is just ridiculous. And I think it's starting to step down. Did it step down already? I can't tell. But let's turn that off, and I'm gonna go to another part of my yard here. Let's go. So all I can say is, wow. I'm just gonna go right out and say it. I think this is the best search and rescue flashlight that you can buy right now. And obviously there's gonna be some pros and cons based on your specific situation. But if you're just looking for a flashlight that's going to light up everything, if your job is to search for things, whatever it might be, you need this. And I just came back in from that beam test. This body is still hot, you can see there's a little bit of fog right there on that lens. It just gets so hot. And that might be one of the biggest negatives of this flashlight is just the amount of heat it puts out. But of course it's going to. It's 120,000 lumens. But to say this flashlight is impressive is an understatement. It's fairly dark in my backyard and it was almost like daylight back there. So let's quickly go over some pros and cons of the SR32. Obviously the pro 
brightest flashlight in the world with that 2080 meter throw. Another pro is that 30 lumen moonlight mode if you need to just find something very quickly and not blind everybody and i think the mode spacing is pretty decent but i do wish there was something in between high and turbo and i think the power bank function is great just in case you have to charge your phone and supporting 100 watt fast charging is fantastic you can charge this ridiculously big battery in one hour and a half and normally i would put an ip56 dust and waterproof rating for a flashlight in the cons but for this flashlight I'm gonna put it as a pro. To have an IP56 dust and waterproof rating with all of these fans and all of these gaps right here, I think that's pretty impressive. All right, so let's go over some of the cons. One con is that half meter impact resistance. I feel like if I just drop this from any distance, especially with that 0.5 meter impact resistance, it's gonna break something. I haven't tested that yet. Maybe another YouTube channel is brave enough to break this thing, but I'm not. And why is that? Well, another con is the price, $679. That's $679.95, almost $680. At $680, that is very pricey for a flashlight, but I don't know what I would expect to pay for the world's brightest flashlight. I'm guessing $680, but I'm still gonna leave that in the con category because this flashlight is going to be out of reach for a lot of people. The next con you already know about, just how hot this head gets 139, it was teetering right at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And just coming back in from that beam test, this body right here, it was pretty hot. So if you're gonna be using this for any amount of time on turbo, wear gloves. And the next con is the weight of the flashlight. At 78.2 ounces, that's 4.89 pounds. So no doubt it is a big, beefy, chunky, heavy flashlight. But honestly, you're not gonna be carrying this in a backpack. This is going to be in a truck somewhere, especially for search and rescue. But I'm leaving this in the con category because just outside, trying to hold the flashlight like this so you guys can see it on camera, my arm was getting a little tired, but guys, the Imolent SR32 is absolutely amazing. I never thought I would see a production flashlight at 120,000 lumens. I thought the MS18 was mind blowing at 100,000 lumens. And that had a 1,350 meter throw. This is 2,080 meters. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys wanna check out the SR32 for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box but if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. My arm is tired. And go!